Good morning, Freedom. Uh, we are starting our Heart Healthy series and learning about stillness uh, before the Lord. And uh, what, you know, what does it mean to be still before the Lord? Um, the Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, that it says the Lord will fight for you when you are still, which is one of my favorite verses, just to know when you're still and silent before the Lord, He's going to fight for you. Um, Psalms 46, 10 be, uh, says, be still and know that I am the Lord. Psalms 37, 7 says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Uh, when we're still before the Lord, we're putting ourself, our circumstances, doubt, worry, business, um, distractions, everything aside. And we're saying nothing else matters but meeting you in this place, in this season, in your time. And trusting him to take care of all your needs. Um, not working in your own power, just trusting God to meet him in that place. And the most important thing is in his time. It's not our time. We have to be still and wait patiently for him. And you know, for an overachiever, that can be very, very hard. Um, overachievers constantly work within their, their own strength to get things done. Um, yeah, I had a, a supervisor. She was a VP of the company I was working for at that time. Uh, she came to me and she asked me one time, um, Mandy, are you a C student? And I was like, whoa, I was so offended that she would ask me if I was a C student. Um, and I was like, oh, I, I didn't know what to say. I was just offended by that. And I said, I asked her, why would you, why would you ask me that? Um, and she said, because you're an overachiever. She was, you're constantly moving to prove yourself and you work hard. Um, and she was actually giving me a compliment because I'd gotten some, a lot of stuff done for that company at that time. Um, but she was letting me know that it was recognizable that I was striving to prove myself, to always fight for the position I had. Um, you know, and she was right. I was a C student. Um, and eventually I did become the regional vice president of that company. And I did not become that, that I did not get that position because I was um, an A student. I got that position because I worked hard. I worked late hours. I, you know, did things that other people wouldn't do. And um, sacrificed a lot of personal um, peace to make sure that things were taken care of for that company. Uh, I ended up being labeled the stabilizer because they would give me the hardest assets to stabilize. Um, and you know, I'm thankful for that season because I learned a lot, but honestly, I could have done it a lot better had I just been still and let the Lord take control. I wouldn't have hit a burnout moment. You know, um, we all hit burnout moments. We all hit times in our life where we can't we can't go any further you know and in that season of mine where i was over constantly overachieving I, even if i had was sick I, one time i had surgery and i didn't even take off the days i needed for the surgery i mean i think i took a day or two off just to have it and then i went right back to work um i didn't allow my body time to heal i didn't allow my mind time to rest um and i did not give the people around me the the attention that they needed to grow in their in their spiritual life and our family life um i was overachieving i was tr constantly trying to get everything done that i needed to get done and at some point in that i finally hit burnout mode and i found myself in the shower crying out to the lord um saying i couldn't handle it anymore and i need i was asking him for a new job um and I hit a brick wall because I was working within my own power instead of resting in the Lord and letting his power make me strong. Um, you know, it says in second Corinthians two nineteen, it says God's grace is sufficient for us and his power is made perfect in our weakness. You know, so when we come to him in our weakness and we say, Lord, I can't do it anymore. That is when his power is made perfect in us. That is when he strengthens us. And that's when he takes us to the new level. And that's when he pushes us over the edge. As long as we're working in our own strength and as long as we keep going in our own power, he's going to let us. He's going to step back and he's going to let us. And he's going to wait until we call upon him and we rest in his presence and let his power be made great. Um, you know, I just want to pray for you today. And I just want to ask that the Lord's power, that you rest before the Lord. I just want to just rest before the Lord today and let his power be made great in you. Um, if you're an overachiever, just stop for a minute and just breathe and let God move into your matrix. Let him start healing the matrix of your being to, to be a, uh, and as he starts healing the matrix in those still moments, his power is going to shine forth from you 
and you're gonna be more powerful than you were. You're gonna get more done than you did before and you're gonna be more effective in the work that you do. Uh, thank you for letting me share. I just want to pray for you. Uh, Lord, I just ask that you just touch everyone here, everyone in freedom and anyone watching this video that is that is doing good things, God, that are working hard to get good things done, but they're not resting before you, Lord. I ask, them, I ask that you bring them to a place of rest, Father. Bring them to a place of healing. Bring them to a place that they that your power is made great in their weakness and that, that your strength is shining through, Lord, and that more will be accomplished in this next season of their their life than was ever accomplished in the past more effective work will be accomplished lord not not busy work but effective work meaningful work kingdom work you my pray amen thanks guys have a great day